Hello, there's Fear Measures, and this is the new Node edition. So this edition of Node is finally, finally out of beta. Good to know, huh? Good to know. So what's new on this edition of Node? Well, first off, on the more important stuff that is new, a beta version of Show Vertish has now been added. Basically, it shows the latest Vertish that you've added. The background, once again, can be loaded, but now I've included a new unload function if you want to hide the background and hopefully or replace the background without closing the program. So that's good to know, eh? That's good to know. What else is new? Uh, the right click has been changed. For me, of course. Self promotion for the win. Uh, there's now a segment visibility function, which I should best explain via the help menu. Uh, it's basically talking about hidden paths. So basically, for those of you who don't know, uh, hidden paths are parabolic covers, or tunnels. We normally use no equals hidden. But we have to do it manually. Not anymore, suckers! If you want a hidden path now, all you do is hit the H key or hit the uh, segment visibility key and it will turn invisible for you. So there's no need to remember that. Hooray indeed. You can now delete a specific vertex number, let's say I want 7 out of the way, I can delete 7 off, uh, you can still delete everything, but uh, whatever. Um, once again, you can still add in manual vertices and whatever, so what else is new? Um, when you now save, you now have an, besides having the normal output the object function, you now have a map.ui function. So what's this used for? Let's say I want an upward pyramid, it specifically, it actually provides the, um, it places the pyramid for you basically. So goodbye to misplaced pyramids forever! And that's where all the node hidden comes in. If you actually specify down, down that you want the path to be hidden at a specific point, let's say you switched it to, uh, let's say you switched it to hidden again and you add a ton of stuff, it will actually remember that, and yeah, it's all in here, so you don't need to guess anymore. Also, there's a cute little scrub here in case this is a 2-2 path and you need to change it. See, I thought of everything, lads. I thought of everything. Now, for the stuff that no one cares about. Uh, there's like, um, 39 tracks on the jukebox now. Uh, you can change your username if you really want to. Let's say I changed my username to... I misspelled that. Get off the screen cap box symbol. Cone. I said NIS! NIS! You can still change the music volume, uh, quality, and the aliasing, blah blah blah. You can actually change what uh, song you want to play. Or you can randomize it like a troll. <laughs> so, yeah. But what else is new? Final new function. Let's say you add a ton of vertices and you clog up the logger screen. I included a shut up function to clear the logger so you don't have to deal with that nonsense. So yep, yeah, that's it for Nocturnal Hour Devotus Editor. That is a been a fun time, hasn't it? So if you enjoyed this uh, showcase of Node, what are you waiting for? Go go grab it. Version 1.2 is ready for you.